Hi everyone, it's Diane. It's Sunday evening. I've had a very, very busy weekend, um, but it's quiet here now. And I was about to go through these magazines, some of these magazines, and pull some images out for glue books. And I thought, maybe you'd like to see where I get some of my images and how I, how I look at pages and what I pull out. So I thought I'd bring you along while I do some of these. I had already, I think, yeah, I did a lot of this book, but I didn't finish it. I was partway through this book the other day when I decided that I would want to bring you along. So these magazines, HGTV magazines, they're home decorating magazines, and I actually picked these up at the library for free. And decorating magazines are really good for images. So let's just start where I left off. I'll show you what I pulled out so far. This is just um, some posters that you can use in your home, but I can just cut these images out. Um, these balls, I like round images, so they're actually globe pendant lights, but I can just cut those out and use them. The squares are already pinked. <laughs> So anyway, I can trim around them and use them, and those squares also, rugs. This is fun, I thought. It was just a little pull-out book, an advertisement for command strips. And it's a graduated booklet. So I thought I could have fun with that, make it, make it a glue book within a glue book, maybe. <clears throat> These squares here I could use. I like this image of the woman. She looks like she's walking in a dreamland or something, so I, I love her her dress. So I can use her in a layout. Um, I think I just liked the border around here. It looks like they're tearing wallpaper off, and I thought that looked pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I pulled it out for. Some squares here. Um, this. Look what's inside. I would cover up where it says our September issue. But I thought this would be really cool on the like the very first page or even on the cover of a glue book. Look what's inside. I love this door. And of course you can use the furniture too. Any of the uh, accessories and things that you see will be great. <clears throat> so let's just continue. There's another rug there. They make just nice little fill-in um, bits of color didn't tear that out very well because my arm is constricted from movement by my tripod. Now this is a nice bright chair and ottoman and this would not be too hard to fussy cut. It might be a little bit large but on the other hand it might be just right. So I'm going to save that. This plant could be interesting in a glue book. This one's pretty. I think I'll go for that. And that plate's pretty too. This whole thing. You could put a little image inside of that. Something like this. I like where you have uh, a row of different images or colors like this. And you could just, can you see what I'm doing? Cut it into a strip. Let me do this. Cut that into a strip and then you'd have that row of colors or patterns. That bowl of apples would be great too. And so would that. Lots of pattern here. And I look for words too. I like that color. So probably once I tear the pages out, I would cut little things like this out so I don't have just all these stacks of pages. And I would have the little pieces in a little container. This word, this phrase, I mean, think again. I'm going to take it for that. And sometimes 
by the time I get back to cut these out, I might look at this and say, what did I cut this out for? So if, if I'm afraid that will happen, I just go right ahead and cut out what I want to use. And I'm done with that page. You might be seeing things that you would want to use as I'm flipping through and you think, why didn't you cut that out? This one says, turn your dreams into reality. That's a good phrase. I'm not sure, but I might want to use those trucks. I like the vintage look of them. Wow, look at that pattern. Color. I like this little sticky note. It says, well done. And I also love in decorating magazines when they have um, paint colors and they're usually a little swipe of paint or a circle of paint and they're all in a row. I always cut them out. chair. I like that lamp. Not that I'd want it in my house, but I think it'd be really cool on a glue book page. This is where the fun stuff happens. There's a rug there. Might as well take it. Now this is fun. Oh, look at the back of this. That's pretty. I'm going to cut out those paint brushes with all of the colors of paint. That is really cool. I don't think I'll take that one though. <sighs> I would definitely dig that, but in my house, not in a glue book. Look at that organization. is hard to turn. I'm going to take that. Well, I would take those, but they all have words on them. I could just put something. I'll do it just in case. And I could just punch out scrapbook paper circles to put in there. It might make a pretty pattern. I might might be able to play with that. Okay. So I'm going to save this for another time because you just saw me go through a decorating magazine. So let's try something else. I got this quite a while ago at the library for free. There are Wall Street Journal magazines and they're like a fashion magazine. They're larger size and sometimes they have really interesting images. See these would be great patterns. I could take this and and well I could leave him there but I just love the colors of those leaves. So I could put something there over him. 
and these two. This guy with his hair covering his face. Don't know if I would use him, but he could be interesting. I'm going to use him. This is all men. Men's style. Let's look at a different one. I'll still go through that one and find stuff, but this one is has Julia Roberts on the cover, so it's probably ladies' fashion. Now that would be interesting. I already have some of hers. She's an actress. I forgot her name, but I have some of these images, I think, already. I'm trying to see what year this is. 2014. <clears throat> hmm. I guess I could look at this and keep it, see if I can use it. This would be fun to see what she's reaching for. You could put whatever you want to in her path and then of course the giraffe would be fun I like to cut out watches too and I'll just cut out the watch face and use it this would be an interesting background right here I'll take that one of my my small little glue book that I don't have it handy I can't show it to you but I use a background and then a little image of a, usually a woman and a little quote or phrase I look for these kinds of things for the backgrounds for the for that little book it's approximately three by five or something like that I don't think that's quite right but it's about that size so that's it Usually at my library, the, flu the free magazines are not ones that I want, but I like it when I can find these Wall Street Journal ones and the decorating ones. I'm trying to decide if I want them. I could cut different things out of it. That's the thing. I don't want to use the image as it is. I want to cut it and make it something different. I could use that window as a background. Just giving you some ideas. This building looks interesting. Sometimes I cut jewels out and use them. These are quite interesting, so I think I'll take them. They look like flowers, so instead of using die-cut flowers, I could use die-cut jewel flowers. These are interesting. I probably won't go through this whole magazine. Maybe I'll start on a different type of magazine. interesting right there. Architecture, pattern, <clears throat> color, even black and white. That's interesting. If you could put something in there, this could just be a nice frame for it. 
think I'll take that though for a background. I was hoping to find some interesting models. You know, they in the fashion magazines they give the models such weird poses, which makes for really great art journals and glue books. I'm going to cut this out for the words discover, joy, and extraordinary, and moment. I can just cut those words apart and use them in whatever page I want. I love this background. Um, the spring and the fall issues of fashion magazines like Vogue or uh, In Style, they have, you know, they're thicker. They're the spring fashion and the fall fashion magazines. They have lots and lots of model images that are fun. I probably don't want to use Julia Roberts because she's too recognizable. I want anonymous models. Okay, we're almost done with this magazine, so I'm just going to move on to something else. See what else I have in my pile here. Put these in there so I know where I left off. Um, okay, I have the Pioneer Woman. This one I did buy, but her magazine is fun because she has beautiful patterns around the edges of some of the pages. So you could trim that off and use it as just a little strip of color. This is one of the beautifully decorated articles. I would cut around that and use it. There's some more up here. And there and there. See, they're just all over. So here's flowers with a little bit of a border. And there's, I was just using this exact border. I must have gotten it out of a different Pioneer Woman magazine. But I just uh, used pieces of that in my glue book yesterday. And then these pretty things would be fun to cut out. You could cut this frame out and then measure the picture and then put something right there and just use this vine as a border. And then this pretty, looks like a watercolor border almost or a pretty fabric. So that's what's fun about the Pioneer Woman. Besides whatever images you can find, in the magazine, the borders are pretty. What else? I have this. I don't have a Trader Joe's near me, but I went to their website and requested the flyer. So I do get the flyer in the mail. And of course, they always have these vintage images to cut out and use. else do I have here? There's another Wall Street Journal. Got a couple more down here. That's great. Ooh, I've got a mother load of Wall Street Journals. They've been just sitting in a pile waiting for me to get to them and I forgot that I had them. So I guess the only other type of magazine here is a Woman's Day magazine. So this is just your typical grocery, you know, checkout stand magazine. I'm going to cut this out just because there's a lot of words here that I could use. I might, I might cut apart, cut that apart and use different phrases out of it or the words. This one says, stay you. Uh, I'm going to just circle that so I know what I'm taking it out for. This isn't even from this year. This is from 2017. You could cut out the word better and use it. Life-changing, strong, I need 
need that. Speed clean your home. I'm not finding a lot in this one. You could cut this out, the word fun. I do get words out of these kind of magazines, but usually not a lot of images. Sometimes from advertising. Strength and energy to stay the playful one. I wouldn't use that phrase, but I would cut some of those words out. Again, sometimes in the makeup ads, they'll have colors all lined up. You could cut that and have this nice border here. Just maybe put some washi tape over where it says Maybelline in between. This eye would be interesting. Out, check me out. So look for words, phrases, um, any kind of interesting picture that you might want in your glue book. I'm not a foodie. I don't. I like plain old food, so the food pictures don't interest me very much. This is a nice picture of an old hand holding a young hand, so that might be cute. Your kind axe. So you could do something like, this is not, and then add something else there. So I hope this was helpful to you in seeing where images come from. And um, have a look in the magazines around your house. Um, probably pretty soon I'll be showing you a flip through of my glue book because I'm getting close to filling it up. I've been working on it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.